I am going to do what worked really well last time, and I'm going to do a fourth level blight. And what I want to do is I'm going to take my, because I'm kind of near him, right? You are. Okay, I want to take my staff and kind of wear pike, put that nice little crispy donut hole in the middle of him. <laughs> <laughs> I want donut? to take my staff right in the middle and bring it down and cast blight. All righty. Saving throw against DC with disadvantage. Oh, <laughs> six and an eight. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Dot, how do you want to do this? Chanting in the back of your head. Is <laughs> How do you want to yes. do this? My ego loves this. <laughs> is Percy still in his mouth? Yeah. Percy is still in his mouth. Yes. Okay, I'm gonna say, stop putting foreign objects in your mouth. <laughs> as you slam your staff into the ground with a giant Ooh. ripple. All of a sudden, you watch as the various plant growth in the ground begins to turn to a dark black gray at the base of the staff. It <laughs> curls across the ground like the actual a line of, of blighted death and decay seems to spear out across. It manages to catch the bottom and sink up the roots of the creature. As it begins to swell up into its body, you see it taking form. How do you want the blight spell to take hold in its body? Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, it takes hold? Okay, um, okay, how about this? You know like the petrified forests in Arizona? Can I like petrify him? All right, so as the blight spell spirals across its body like a spider web just crackling and it spins to <laughs> It rears up with its, its arms out in front of it, Todd, the muscles locking up like this giant arching statue, its jaws up in the air holding Percy aloft just... as you watch. Wow. <laughs> You hear the scraping and cracking of bark and dried plant matter, its entire form slightly squeaking as it becomes a solid, petrified piece of plant matter. The life force now drained from it, the roots at its sides crack and turn to ash. Part of its form tends to sink to one side of the mud, and now this once very dangerous looking creature is now solid, dead plant matter, holding a wiggling and very unhappy human. <laughs> Rebuke. Oh. Oh. What is that? Okay. It sounds hellish. I know. It sounds aggressive. One per Very day. Rebuke. So. All right. So, point the creature must make a dexterity saving throw. So it does back to him. Yes. That is fifteen. What's the DC? I don't know. Seventeen. Seventeen. She has a bad to be. Seventeen. Seventeen. Okay. So it takes two D ten fire damage. So go ahead and roll. Yes. yes. Oh my God! You can kill it just because it attacked you. Come on. Come on. Kill it out of spite. Oh, come on. Tell him he's very ugly. Nine. Nine points of fire damage? How do you want to do this? <gasps> oh! 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 How do you finish this dragon with your hellish rebuke? How do you where, does it, where does it hit? Make it good! Make it good! Where does it After hit? It How does it blasting hit? you with ice damage. You, you, watch, you watch the wizard frozen in place. You see Percy unconscious and bleeding on the ground. Uh, you see Vex on the ground about to fall unconscious. Your friends are lost in the darkness around you. And suddenly you feel that, that tiefling surge of anger within you. And you... Almost completely turn into flame as I walk towards it. Can I use anything? Can no, I you have to use that. Yeah. Yeah. The hellish Just rebuke describe. to me. How do you want this? I want this hellish rebuke to me levitating in the air <gasps> and using my dragon, dark dragon stuff <laughs> to blast it 
uh, from <laughs> head down, just <laughs> eviscerating <laughs> everything from the bowels down with All hellish right. fire. So, as, <laughs> as, as, after the frost cakes in the front of you, and there is ice caked against the front of your armor, you suddenly look up at it, and as your eyes flare oh with flame, God. the ice evaporates from the sheer heat that your body's emanating. You take a step forward, but the step itself is about an inch off the ground. A second step, you're two inches off the ground, and with each progressive step, you're slowly floating in the air. The warlock energy now swirling around you, the shadows are spinning around you and coalescing around your feet. As you look forward towards it, you see the portion of its armor that was blasted open earlier with its flesh and sinew is exposed. You take the staff forward, and with an angry snarl, you live one last blast of infernal energy, the hellish rebuke, then sinking into the side of its chest. As the inside of its flesh begins to spark and smoke, the dragon <laughs> reaches out and grabs the side. It's beginning to try and bring its wings up to fly away. And as it does, <laughs> a blast of infernal flame comes cascading out of its chest. You can see now all of its armor begins to peel back as its chest is blown open. Its eyes suddenly go from this, this piercing blue white to a dull gray color. Yes. And it reaches out. <laughs> It tumbles forward poof, onto the ground next to Percy, almost crushing his. <gasps> oh, 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 almost, almost. It gets but not up. Slide, dear takes two more steps forward. No, you can't. Yes, I fucking can. Yeah. <laughs> and the bat lion fang falls dead. To the yeah. I'm gonna attack her with um, a blazing bowstring. Go for it. Yes. Can't believe this Uh, 17 plus 14 with sharpshooter. Yeah, that hits. Okay, All minus damage. five, so. Okay. Um, oh god. Yeah. So good. 15 plus two is 17. 25, 30 plus the blazing bowstring. 37. That's, um, that's everything, right? Did you do your plus 10 for the sharpshooter? 47 for sharpshooter. Did you know? 47. I didn't have no, 47 points of damage with the sharpshooter. How do you want to do it? Yeah! Just like that finger. <laughs> she was it. reaching out for that dimension door. Oh, mm. oh fuck. She, Yeah. Yes! Oh, so, uh, as you see her hand it. reaching out, and she's, you see their fingers tracing the incantation in the air as, as Silas's hand reaches out, stretched for hers. I no, you don't. I point my finger down at her, so I'm about to shoot the arrow. <laughs> and then as it shoots, I just keep pointing at her like, how's it feel, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> as she reaches out, she's reach, she, her eyes are locked with Silas. She's not even paying attention to Grog at this point. All she's focused on is escape. And Grog, as you look down at her, and Silas is looking into her face, reaching out, the air just through like the jaw and out the side of her cheek there. It just pierces the cheek, just, and the eyes just go cold. In her hand, the, the spell incantation fades, and the hand just twitches, and then falls to the ground still. Oh, that was so dope! Yes. As that happens, Silas, his hand still reached out, goes, no! Oh, I feel so bad for him. No, you don't. No, she has uh, Vex, you're up. Okay, I'm gonna hit him twice. Fucking right, burn this guy down. Just keep hitting them with everything we got. Hit him with everything we got. He's almost uh, okay. 27. 27 hits. Okay. <laughs> 25 on the first. 25 damage. All right, and the second hit. The second is also tw uh, twenty-seven. How do you want to do this? We're gonna live! Oh my god! Oh. <sighs> See, just taking away, and you have a shot as it's kind of arcing to the right of you. Just bleeding and kind of limping in the air, but managing to pick up speed. The sleet and the snow is strong and firing around you. I want you. to see a cut on his stomach where, where Yank left a hole, and I want to go straight into his heart. As you decide, the first arrow you aim for it, it 
it streaks off and hits another wound and gets jammed in. They pull back the second arrow, and right as you see the snow beginning to blind the image, just one moment of clarity that hits you. You release the arrow, piercing inside where the wound was, where one of Yank's horns had gashed into its front of his chest. Thorgal and just spins into a corkscrew, plummets and crashes into the side of the ravine. Tumbles backward, rocks come tumbling onto it. Thorgal hits the ground, smacked open as it begins to get back up. A bunch of rocks slam down, and one big shard of ice slams into his chest. Still like writhing in place as he's and bleeding out. And a tree out. grows out of his guts. Yeah. He's still like currently holding on as the as he's kind of jammed to the ground. <coughs> you see like the, the bluish from blood kind of leaking out the side of the mouth. <coughs> and just can't move. And you can see like like the weak the the strength leaving uh, Vorgal's body. Raishan swoops up next to Vorgal's corpse. Leaning over. <laughs> Tell your master on the other side. When you see him, that it was worth it. And Raishan just sinks her teeth into his throat and tears it out. You see the spray of blood across Raishan's mouth and this cross the Point front of the strike. ravine. At you do, seventh actually. level. You do. On seventh level? Nah. The music is gone. Oh no. Oh, it's coming, don't worry. That's awesome. Boss music up. Oh no. That's called the ref. Shots of blues. Coming up next. Mortal Kombat! I don't know why. Input's functional, but we'll just make it the music as we go. Okay. All right, so at a seventh level flame strike, that'll be putting 10d6 damage. Let me see. It's a natural one, but does have advantage on saving throws against spells. That will bring it. I can hear music, it's just really quiet. Yeah, I can hear it. I like Darth Oh, there we go. Oh, you were doing something to it. Exciting. It's coming, isn't it? Yeah. It's coming. Uh, so that will. What's what's the DC of your spell? Drop the B. That'll be an 18. Spell DC. 18. Yeah, so it does save, so it takes half damage. Go ahead and roll 10d6. Damn. Damn. Okay, six. Eight. Kill that mm -hmm. girl. 14. Uh, 18. 18. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. Oh, I rolled ten. Oh, oh, oh. Twenty-two. Twenty-eight. Mm, Twenty-nine. I'm watching the Olympics. <laughs> five, nine, five, nine, five, five, eight, six, eight, six, one. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what that means! That is so 45. 45 have that's 22 points of fire and bludgeoning damage to Did that. You uh, how do you want to do this? Oh, <laughs> shit. oh my god! Oh, are you serious? Oh. <laughs> Pike? What? Oh, there we are. Pike killed the Rakshasa! How do you want to do this? <gasps> do it, girl. I'm so shocked! I don't know! <laughs> okay. Okay. Um. Oh man, I just. Can, uh, can the flame strike just go through his body and then just <laughs> burst him like a. like a. Phew. <laughs> First thing of poof. So, as you turn the corner, uh, seeing all your friends charging toward this creature, uh, knowing the fear that you heard in Vax's voice earlier, the burning rage of vengeance I'm mad. burns beneath your skin. And as you. Exposed skin. You're, you're mostly exposed skin. Um, My non hairy skin. <laughs> you grab your holy symbol, drop the shield. And bring your arm up like this as you do the Rakshasa before you all of a sudden goes. <laughs> you can see the I'm gonna let go of him now. <laughs> back up he's, he's kind of uh, breaks to his exterior, these these strange glowing infernal cracks was <laughs> by I will return. Yeah, we'll see you next time, shitface. <laughs> 
detonates with a column of Whoa. fire that comes bursting out of the ground from the body. You can see <laughs> shattering, burned bits of the Tasha flesh go sh- flying across the entire exterior of the castle as this column, 20, 30, 40 feet up, just streaks out of the top of the castle, That's lighting up the vicinity attack. of Whitestone. As it uh, slowly subsides, there was nothing but a pile of ash left where Hotis was. Oh. Yes! Oh. Yes! Yeah. What? That was sweet! What the fuck was that? Second one is a natural 20. So it was a natural 20? Yes. All right. So the first one's the dragon. Okay. The dragon's side. Three. Eight. Fourteen. Uh, Nineteen. Plus Hunter's Mark. So there's no sneak attack on this, right? You said? Mm-hmm. Correct. Nineteen. Uh, Twenty-one for the Dragon Slayer. Twenty-one. Nice. And then uh, Whisper, which is a natural twenty, is. Eh, one. Plus, uh, just nine plus the. Is uh, no, 15, fifteen plus Hunter's Mark. Seventeen times two. Oh, fifteen times two is thirty. It's all times two because that's all. Oh, fifteen times two is thirty. Thirty. Plus eight. Uh, 30, Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Okay. Anyone do this? <gasps> In the dark. Oh, oh, In a dark pit. With whisper. I'm going to shove it in so that my hand disappears from view so I'm up to my forearm and stab as far in as I can reach. I hear the voice of my mother in the morning. Fuck you. As the blade plunges into Thordax, now kind of slawing, soft flesh exposed through a series of wounds and gashes left behind by your allies, and its form just slowly shriveling uh, into its diminutive space, the dagger cuts cleanly through, and with that force, you go all the way up to the shoulder as you reach inside. Um, as you finish saying what your, your phrase, your eyes kind of narrow, and you clench your teeth, and as you pull back, and yank, there's this strange series of low whispers that into your ears, and as you pull back, you watch as these bits of kind of grayish energy begin to pour out of the air, kind of coalescing around the blades, fitting into the body where you're currently plunged within. As you yank outward, you watch as the blade almost has an extended edge about 10, 15 feet beyond Whisper's <laughs> actual end of his blade that just leaves a giant wound on the side of Thordak's body. You don't even hear an exclamation of pain as Thordak just slowly <laughs> slams into the ground of this low, barely glowing tunnel. Uh, Roll an acrobatics check with disadvantage. Please just let me. All I want to do is stick at least one on this goddamn dragon. <laughs> <laughs> Six rolls. Come on, Care Bear. Yes. Okay. So there is 26. 26 yeah! hits. And a 20. And the 20, 20, 20 the misses, 20, unfortunately. Unless th- this dragon is so surprised that I finally made a successful attack. <laughs> 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 no, unfortunately, the, the, the feral, angry, uh, an, int- an intelligible state of Raishan right now is just a, a beast. Uh, no, not okay. surprised. Um, it's instinct now. Oh, man. So I'm going to burn my a second level spell for Smite. And she is not like anything that is specifically affected by like Doomhammer here, like she's not undead technically or no. just regular old evil. Yeah. Okay. Regular old she's, evil. She's just awful. It's a classic just, evil. Just bad. So there's ten. Eighteen. One more. Twenty-eight. 28 points of damage? 28. Whack. 
He dies suddenly. A cardiac mm-hmm. arrest. Yeah. <laughs> At a max hit points of 520, how do you want to do that? Yeah! <laughs> Literally had seven hit points left. Oh my God. Oh, as far as my math goes, yeah. Level seven. <laughs> I can't fucking believe. I can't fucking believe that happened. <laughs> so how do you how do you want to do this? Oh my God. Oh my God. The feral beast there, tearing the innards out of Percy on the ground, Grog slamming into it, just seemingly just bashing against the world, watching everyone drop around you like fl- flies. You, your one hammer in hand. What I would like to do is step over to like be over his body, you know, and it's like and it's like no, 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 no further. And uh, as the dragon is coming in, like just trying to mindlessly claw at the, this this poor destroyed corpse. You know, um, and I, I I like to think of the the anime slow mo strike where it, like the the hammer comes back and it slows down and then when it connects you get like the big starburst. <laughs> um, <clears throat> wow. Okay. As as the hammer arcs downward, <laughs> sl- slams into the snout of Raishan just as the head turns up. The eyes that were once reptilian and intelligent are now just filled with bloodshot rage and feral intensity. The jaw is attempting to snap up and catch the blade. However, you're too fast. Your old adventuring reflex kicking in. As the glowing hammer head comes down onto the snout, the divine energy blasts forward and you watch as the dragon's face <laughs> explodes, inverting inward, the front of the skull being blown backward. And you guys watch as this flash of light fills the entirety of this necrotic space. This one plume of radiant smoke kind of And left behind, you see Carrick standing there holding the rod, the the actual head of the hammer now dismissed as part of the burst of radiant energy. And there, the smoking ruin of the throat, headless, of Raishan, the deceased deceiver, collapsing to the ground unmoving. We're gonna take a quick break. So, Grog, you were released, falling down to land at, like, on top of Kevdak with the blood axe in a downward arc. Yeah, big wind up as we're coming down. Go ahead and roll an attack. Yeah. Any chance I can make this reckless? I don't know no where. Yeah, why? Yeah. I don't, I don't know, know where. Then we all get attack advantages against right. you again. Up to you. <laughs> Thank God for that. Nice uh, natural <laughs> 20. Look at it. The first one was a fuck one. Fuck you! The that's first a one was a one. Why the 20s, man? You can't. You that's can't. You gotta stop this. That's a 20. The and first one was a one. And that's why you did reckless. <laughs> All right. So go ahead and roll damage on this. Get him wrong. Oh my this god. This is a fun quintuple. Quick Does that mean he gets the three twelves again? Uh, with with the brutal critical at this level, how many extra dice is it for you? Uh, brutal critical is one additional damage die during critical hits. But then you've gone, that's gone up since you leveled previously. That's true. So you are now at, I believe, I think it's fire. two. So three additional. Uh, brutal critical, yeah, 13 increases to two. So you roll an additional 2d12 on the attack. So roll 1d12 plus, uh, you're not raging anymore because you spent oh, the last that's round. That's correct, yeah. Plus know. three. We don't know. All right, so plus three. So that's 10. 10. Uh, plus two more d12s. Awesome. One's still filled with meat. That's a 12. So that's 22. And a 10. For 32. And then double that? Uh, and then... No. Oh, well, you you double, 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 double the first roll. Yeah, the double the first Uh, right, which was 10, so 20, so 42. 42, 42 nice. means it's a 21 damage. How do you want to do that? Yes! 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 As you, as you, oh, as the shadow oh, fires oh, from the necklace that she holds it aloft, bleeding and shaking, you appear and dive down in silence. Oh my god! The whole square coming towards you as Kevdak, clutching in the one nearly ruined arm, the other arm that you bisected, is turning the corner, about to open the door to dive into the house to avoid it, looks up just in time to see you streaking down. What do you do? I say, FOR STRANGER! And I sink the egg right into his neck and pot him perfectly down the middle. With the sheer force of the blow, the weight behind it, and the intent, the axe hits him 
right in the side of the neck, cleaves off part of his ear, shaves off part of his skin here, exposing the jawbone, hits here, breaks the clavicle, tears through it, and every single rib is destroyed. It cuts right through the center of this giant body until it gets to about the midsection where it catches, finally. The upper torso just splits open and just covers you with gore. However, you still impact... Um, yeah. not raging. Nope. You take... He's gonna die. He's gonna uh, die. Hey, it's okay, he's done. Oh, his shit. He's got I his trick. Care. Care. Nice trick. 25 yeah, points spear. <laughs> Odalux. Alright, uh, dexterity saving throw against a DC of... 21 with disadvantage. Because of because I cutting words, her. It's true. That would be a sixteen. The sphere encapsulates her. She is now currently down within the sphere, and she looks about, suddenly going, "What? What the heck is going on?" You can curse. It's okay. You killed one of us. <laughs> okay. Everyone, gather around. Her. Oh, don't leave me, Percy. I'm gonna drop this thing and we're all gonna fucking kill her together. No. Yes, we are. She stands there, she can't, she goes and uh, fires at the wall. She just kind of does and has no effect. I, uh. Looks over the shoulder. I, um. I have three I, attacks. I get, I'm slowly walk up to her with, with the sword. And right. Man, well. Walking over as well. <laughs> Okay, so well, first at the end of her turn, the last round of the blink spell does not go off. The, it didn't, the roll didn't happen? Yeah, and it, it, this is like the blink, she didn't blink out, so she's now locked in the sphere and she's starting to look about extremely nervously. The shadow of Orthax comes and kind of finds her and is beneath the orb and can't quite get through. Uh, a, nothing, no magic can happen in the orb. Um, you guys all work towards and bring yourself towards the edge. We'll say. No, I'm staying. I'm staying, staying there. We need okay. you. I'll shoot her from a distance. Okay. Get ready. All right. To. It comes through. We'll say, for the sake of brevity, here it comes back to Scanlan's turn. Everyone's holding their action. I'm I'd like getting... to get right up next to the orb. Me too. I do as well. I'm getting up on the log so that I can get a clean shot at her. Okay. Vax, you with us? Yes. Kynan actually walks along with you. And heads up. Ready? <sighs> I'm ready. And you are. For Percy. Her hands are around the orb right now. Her eyes are darting around. She's, like, <laughs> She's trying to find a way to think her way out of this. And you see like her face kind of flash in a couple ways. And she looks around cunningly at all of you and kind of smiles. Percy's killing you right now, not us. I drop it, and we all attack. Stab. Oblivion. All right. Go ahead and roll. Croc. Roll your three attacks. Reckless. Great. Everything. Vex, roll your two attacks. Vex, roll your attacks. Scanlan. 29. 26 and 32. God damn it, Gil, you better not fuck me. Not bad, Gil. <laughs> 26 and 22. Are we just doing melee attacks or like spell attacks or what? Spell attacks is fine. She doesn't have a whole lot of energy left in her engine, and we don't even need to roll damage because how do you, <laughs> Vox Machina, want to do this? I want to sink my dagger into her arm and sever all around her shoulder and rip her fake arm off of her body. <clears throat> she, the, the arm just plummets to the ground, the shadow kind of still coalescing at where the wound is. Um, the shadow of Orthax kind of sh shoots up into where the exposed wound is. With that moment, who does what next? I'd like to carve the Dorolo crest into her forehead. <laughs> As she's clutching this, um, you reach forward and grab her by the throat, her eyes wide, and you just slash across. You can see the 
right now she has no strength to resist. I'm gonna take the axe and go straight across her navel. Heal it. I'm gonna take a grasping vine and choke her around her throat. The vines wrap around and hold her in place. Vex? I want an arrow straight through her heart and one in her mouth as she screams. The scream is cut short as the arrow finds itself placed in the back of the skull, the other one straight to the chest. Grog, your blade cuts through the midsection as the other grasping vine pulls the lower half down. Ripley is entirely torn asunder in a final silent scream. The shadow of Orthax dissipates, sputters, and vanishes. The battlefield grows silent. <laughs> As you read from the book, page after page, the words come out, something you don't seem to understand in your mind, but the form understands and as it does, the runes glow. You look up as the trammels begin to glow. One, two, you hear this sucking sound. How do you guys want to do this? <laughs> Describe your support of this. You guys who are holding Vec in the back, how do you prepare for this as he's currently being held by these trammels in place? I grab Percy up on the broom so we can fly up. I take out the immovable rod out of the bag of holding and I just put my the heel of my hand against the trammel as it starts to push in, just to help it. Okay. I grab Scanlon like a football for old time's sake and I come up behind Keyleth and I r kiss yeah. her on the cheek and stare forward. We all kind of spoon each yeah. other as like yeah. a, a winged spooning circle while right. holding Scanlon <laughs> while holding, holding the book. Bigby's hand yeah. is just gently tickling my taint. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make sure Pike's with me over here. Yeah, I Does fly up next to Grog and no, it's currently if he has a free hand, I hold the other right. hands. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. I'll hold hands with Pike. Okay. As you guys are there clutching him in his form, you watch as suddenly the dark clouds above begin to part. Directly above the tower, as the Titan arm is lifted up and beginning to make its way down in your direction as the shadow strengthens, the trammels from the side of the head. No, no, too long, too long. As they suddenly vibrantly brighten, you watch as the lattice of the divine gate begins to spread out around his body. The energy begin to consume his form. And within one bright, fiery sun explosion like flash, and a sound like a deafening thunderclap, not feet from where your body is. All of you are thrown from the detonation as Vecna claps out of existence. 